In this video, we're going to discuss how to create or edit bulk POs, purchase orders, and bulk work orders. Uh, when you're inside SoStock, the first thing you're going to do is go to your settings page. This is the first way you can do it. Uh, go to bulk export import. And this is the same place where you would download like your active products or update your warehouse inventory. But instead, you're going to go down to these two new features, which is uh, PO bulk upload template, work order bulk upload template. And you're going to download, uh, if we click on either one, there's going to be a video here, which I will link below. So make sure you watch that video fully. This is very important. Watch that video. And it's going to be linked in this article. So watch that video, download the template, and you can upload your products and create a PO or multiple POs uh, using this feature. The same thing goes for the bulk work order template. Uh, same video, same exact process, just work orders instead of purchase orders. Okay, the second way that you can do it is if you go to your orders page, and then on the orders page you can go to purchase orders or work orders. They both are very similar. Uh, you're going to see this little download cloud button, and you can go here to uh, export current view or bulk import template. Go ahead and download the bulk import template, and you can just click that and download it. And the video that we linked below will show you how to do that. This is just another place to get to the exact same template. So those are kind of the two ways that you can create bulk uh, POs or work orders. Now, let's say that you have existing purchase orders or work orders that you want to edit. Uh, you want to add additional inventory. You want to upload additional stuff into those POs or work orders. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to click into a purchase order. And that will bring us to this page here, where we're inside a PO. Um, and then we're going to scroll down to any one of the shipments. So the PO can be split into multiple shipments. We talk about this in other videos. If you haven't seen that already, you know, go to the help desk and type in create a purchase order. Uh, and watch the deep dive on how to create purchase orders. But the, you know, you can create shipments based on lead times, right? So if, if these two products had different lead times, they would be showing up as different shipments because they have different uh, lead times. They end at different locations, like maybe one of them is going to Amazon, one of them is going to a warehouse. In this case, it's just one shipment all going to Amazon, so it's easy. But either way, for each shipment, you can download... Uh, you can actually download or upload, but you're going to download first the template. This video is similar to the other bulk video, except this is how to edit existing purchase orders or work orders. So make sure to watch that video, which I'll also link below. Download that template, watch that video, and then once you've uploaded or once you've updated the template, then you come back here and you upload your products and it will import all of those products into your purchase order or work order. The same thing applies to a work order. Okay, if we go into a work order and we click on a work order and it's got the same two download and upload features there. So those are the three ways that you can do it. Uh, again, for creating new shipments there or here or editing existing shipments in a work order or in a PO. So make sure to watch the videos below and you will have your bulk POs and work orders.